Hi, it's Matt from Gogoin Auto. So here's a Kia Soul, obviously. This is a 2018 Kia Soul with a 30 kilowatt hour battery pack. So we'll have a look and see what's under the bonnet, and then I'll lift it up and we can have a look underneath. So, under the bonnet here, it almost looks like a, an engine, petrol engine. So, this is obviously your electric motor. So you have this plastic cover over it. Cannot see the point of these at all. It's not like it's offering any sound insulation or anything like that. It's just for looks, which is completely pointless. Anyway, so this is your electric motor stack. So basically you've got an electric motor at the bottom driving the front wheels with two little drive shafts and then everything on top mounted in these aluminium enclosures is all the electronics. So you'll have the inverter and the charger. Everything that's orange is the high voltage cables. So you've got cables here coming from the charge port, cables coming from the battery pack. So everything that's orange is the dangerous bit, but of course it's all um, properly insulated, it's all waterproof. Uh, it actually causes no risk at all unless you were to open up the connectors. And then here we've got coolant bottle and then the hoses. So these do have a radiator. Obviously the grill is blanked off and you just have um, air intakes here at the bottom because you don't need much cooling on an electric vehicle because obviously there's no fire under the bonnet like there is with a combustion engine. You're just cooling the electronics. So with these, well with all EVs, the electric motor and all the electronics here is water cooled and we can see here pipes going in to the aluminium unit and they're pumping water around this to keep it all cool. Here's your windscreen washer bottle. Um, this is all your air conditioning hoses, brake fluid and here we have a standard 12 volt battery. So all electric cars have a 12 volt battery and just like a normal car it is completely reliant on this 12 volt battery to start the vehicle. Whereas a normal um, combustion engine the battery is turning over the engine to start the vehicle and you get to know when your battery is getting low with an electric car all this 12 volt battery is doing is turning on um, electronics is turning on your dashboard and relays effectively so they don't get worked so much so um, the upshot is they actually probably don't last as long as a normal battery because battery is obviously made um, with uh, the high cranking amps in mind and made to turn over an engine. These are just turning on electronics uh, and actually probably a leisure battery would have been more suitable but they use standard car parts. So um, the 12 volt batteries, um, the car's completely reliant on it and you tend to fi find on an EV they just suddenly die uh, because you have no prior warning that it's failing because you can't tell because it's obviously not starting an engine. So the 12 volt battery is driving all the 12 volt stuff, your headlights, your dash, your wipers, your stereo and all the electronics and all the ECUs in a car is all standard 12 volt. Whereas the traction battery at the back is 400 volt, but that is just driving the electric motor and the heating system. Everything else is 12 volt. Um, but obviously there's no alternator charging this battery. So while you're driving or while the car is on, the inverter down here is taking the 400 volt DC from the battery and converting it to 14 volt DC and charges the battery while you drive. And while we're at the front here, I'll just show you the charge ports. A bit dirty in here. Um, so you have two charge ports. This is your rapid charger. This is a 50 kilowatt Chadamo DC rapid charging port. And this is your AC port. And look at that, it's a May bug in there. Um, this is a, um, a 7 kilowatt um, Type 1 connector. So let's lift it up and see what we can see underneath. <laughs> Well, not a lot to be honest, because of course it's all covered in plastic panels. So here is your battery pack. This is obviously the rear wheels we're looking at. And the battery pack is up here. Let's just see, it's the first time I've been under one of these. I'm just seeing if I can see any writing on there to identify the battery or the manufacturer. But of course it doesn't say, it just says Hyundai Kia. Um, but anyway, this is your battery pack. It starts from 
the back wheels here and I can't tell how much of the car um, how long it is because it's all covered in this cover and I'm not going to take it all off um, so yeah we cannot see the size of the battery pack and then here we're looking at the front of course we've got another cover under the front compartment um, and I cannot even see the electric motors in there driving the front wheels directly of course um, here's your drive shafts from the motor but we can't hardly see the electric motor in there um, so not an awful lot I can see under this one um, it's all covered completely so that was a bit pointless looking underneath to be honest uh, but sometimes we can see more but not in this case because it's all covered in plastic um, however on the Kia Souls there is what looks like to be a fan assembly or something in the boot which I'll show you in a minute and I was thinking possibly that was part of the battery cooling system but clearly it's not because we're looking at the boot floor here and there is absolutely nothing coming from here to the battery pack so we'll get it back down and see what that is in the boot so on these let's take the boot floor out completely you then have this polystyrene storage tray which uh, typically you've got your charge cables in and then underneath you've got another polystyrene tray and that houses your punch of repair kit so it's this unit i was talking about um, i don't know what this exactly does i haven't looked it up i've done no research before filming this video but anyway you've got this ducting here which comes from under the seats and then this round unit at the bottom electrical connection here so i was assuming this is possibly some sort of fan uh, i'm assuming it is because you've got this um, ducting system so um, while it's not actually coming into the battery pack under the floor here it could well be going into the top of the back under the passenger seat so it could still be part of uh, a battery cooling system but then it could be something to do with the um, cabin ventilation system I don't know so if you do know then um, let me know in the comments below I really do like these cars they're an absolute joy to drive really nice suspension setup lovely ride quality I think these are hugely underrated um, obviously there's more Nissan Leafs and Renault Zoe's out there in the UK but these are a far better car than both of those um, I also just like all the little design details the way you've got this sort of greeny glass effect in the light you've got it here along the side and the electric badge you've got white here which if you get the white model this is then the turquoise blue you get the same sort of little glass effect around the lights at the bottom just a really clever design um, obviously the looks of it are a little bit marmite um, i think these were ahead of their time because this sort of mini suv look is hugely popular now but of course when they bought out the original Kia Soul um, back then it was obviously only in petrol or diesel I actually had one when these first came to the UK many many years ago when the original scrappage scheme first came out and uh, no one had seen a car like it before you know the SUV craze hadn't caught on by then um, and uh, people assumed at the time it was the new uh, 4x4 Mini they were talking about making at the time um, so I've always liked the Kia Souls I think they look even better in electric but just a really nice car to drive and live with so if you've liked this video please do click the thumbs up on YouTube because that allows other people to find the video and uh, maybe subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video and there's plenty of other EV related content on the channel uh, sorry this one uh, didn't really gain too much information from but uh, if you're looking to buy a, a used electric vehicle, then that might help a little bit. To, at least you get to see what was under the bonnet. But as I said, plenty of other videos on the channel and uh, more will be coming soon.